Hi guys, this is Ruthi Shirkar. I am a product designer and we are going to be working on a game app design and uh, I'm going to design the entire uh, app in Figma and prototype it in Framer. Uh, the step one is importing the file from Figma to Framer Web. Framer Web, uh, so just a bit of introduction. This is Framer Web and this is free. You can use it. Uh, uh, you can use it only when you have more than one or two editors for the file it will charge you otherwise this is like a free prototyping web uh, if you want to have a web app they're going to charge you so i'm going to be using the free version what you need to do is click on this share icon right in the top uh, top right hand corner click on this copy the link of the figma file uh now go into framer uh, in, if you see this you can import a figma file so click on the figma uh you can import it in anywhere you want i'm importing it in draft click on import wait for it now you can read your paste figma project url we just copied the url and we are going to paste it here and since i have just one page in the figma file i'm going to import it wait for the magic to happen bam that's all your that's your frame figma file right into framer uh, if you want to remove uh, the not required elements so i'm going to just delete some of the elements i'm uh, it, that's not needed in this file wow yeah you go so this is screen 1 screen 2 screen 3 and screen these are my couple of cards and this is one more screen 5 i don't need these illustrations because i am doing the illustrations in figma file if you want to create this cute illustrations in the figma file then watch the video here uh, to give you a bit of introduction of uh, the Framer Web, uh, the browser which I'm the browser this browser is actually the mobile view uh, that is currently being selected. Uh, I can interact with the screens right here and I can add all the interactions behind and view how the interactions look in this browser. So first one I'm going to give you a quick view. See, this is the screen one and I can click on this. A tiny spark button and drag it click and drag it to screen 2 so now if we can go back to the mobile browser and click on the screen now the next screen appears that is because we just did the interaction behind now if you click here the screen 2 then if you tap on it it moves to the screen 3 so now you see the screen 2 is activated and now you tap on it it goes to screen 3. So if you go back to screen 1 and that's all in very less than 3 seconds you did it. Uh, you can actually do that in Figma. What I really like about uh, Framer is you have inbuilt a um, couple of inbuilt interactions in here. So for example, uh, the, they have an interaction kit where you can add a lot of things. I'm going to be adding something called as the input 